What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that is going to change your life. Today's topic is creation takes consistency. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Primarily gentlemen, I imagine. I don't know how many ladies listen to what I do besides my wife, my fiance, mom. But, anyways, regardless, creation takes consistency. I was thinking about this this morning as I was going through the goals. I actually started last night. As I was in the office till 6 o'clock, 6, 6, 6.30, I think I was working till. I was looking out and all my, um, you know, my, all my employees and the guys that work with me are gone doing their thing. I'm watching these people down below underneath my office having ice cream and enjoying the sunny day. And I'm up there working, doing my thing and, and being normal. And I got hit with this thought. Man, is this really, truly worth it? Is what you're trying to do here to change this world and to make this movement, is it truly, truly worth it? If you die tomorrow, are you going to miss this sunny day? Like how many sunny days have I missed? Like here, here's just the reality of my, my life. It's good. It's amazing. Helping hundreds and hundreds of people. It's growing every single day. Money is fantastic. The people around me are living thriving lives. But at the end of the day, I'm in a room, on the phone, constantly working 15, 16 hours a day. Creation takes consistency. The days I don't want to are the days that I fucking must. But when I was looking at that, I'm like, man, is this truly going to be worth it? Like, are you going to really be able to make this impact? I started second guessing the things that are going on in my life. I started second guessing this movement. I started second guessing, like, what I truly want. And yes, it will be worth it. It's simple. But at that time, as I was looking outside, watching the families enjoy themselves, I was looking at myself and saying, man, you don't even enjoy what you have right this second. Which is bullshit, complete and utter bullshit. I enjoy it thoroughly. But at that moment, I wanted to have everything I have now plus be able to enjoy that stuff. And the truth is, creating something huge, creating something massive, creating anything that's worthwhile and lasting is going to take a level of consistency and effort that you did not even fucking know you had inside of you. Now, let's talk about how that works when you're drinking. I can talk about business, body, blah, blah, blah. But right now, you're drinking right now. If this is truly something that is worthwhile to you, while your friends are going out on the weekends, while the people you know are drinking, the business meetings that you think that adding alcohol and actually fucking adds to it, but it's taking away. But you're abstaining, you're doing something, and you're gonna come up, you're gonna come across the thought process numerous times of, is this truly worth it? Do I really want this drinking out of my life? And the truth is, I'm not here to tell you whether you have to or you don't have to. You've got to understand the pockets of life that it fits into, and you've got to be able to take the consistency daily to create what that looks like for you. And that comes down from certainty and a clarity of a vision that only you and you can see only. Not me, not your wife, not your kids, but you. And the problem is, more often than not, many men, I would say 95% of the ones that come to me, they can't make a simple choice. Do I want to control and keep it in my life or do I not want to keep it in my life? Because they've been told by society, the world views, all these different things, their wife telling them certain things, their bosses, their employees are all these, this, these, these negative strings attached to them, tentacles that say, you can't do this. But just think back to a time in your life when you didn't need alcohol or you could drink with your friends and have fun and you were that person. It is going to take work. It is going to take discipline. It's going to take an ample amount of energy to create anything that's worth having. And to create that is going to take consistency. So I got done thinking about that. And I was thinking about my life and thinking about everything I've done so far. I look at the results because facts, that's what I care about the facts. Financially, I'm in a completely different world. My business inside of 12 months is not even the same fucking business. The men that I've helped, the program that I'm taking them through is not even the same fucking program. Everything that I've done that I've seen that's been inside of my, my head has been it's producing and it's going to elevate to the next level, but it's going to take missing days. It's going to take not enjoying the time that my son was out on the boat with his friends. It's going to take not being able to be at home every single dinner with my wife, my fiance, or being a little late. Luckily, she backs me a thousand percent and it will be worth it. Because see, I know that I'm in control of my thoughts, my emotions, my actions, what I'm going to do about it. Now for you, you're not in the same spot as me. Or maybe you are. I want to urge you today to ask yourself the question of this. Where across my life does alcohol fit in? If it doesn't, then don't. Get it out. Let's move forward. 
And I'm sure it does because there's spots in my life that it, it will fit in for me. It just doesn't at this moment. But in order for you to find where that piece is, you're going to have to do the work to create it. And you're going to have to do it consistently day in and day out. You cannot expect to say, okay, here's where it fits. I'm just going to do these things by doing the same thing over and over and over. That's the fucking definition of insanity, which now I've taken on this new approach to it where it's actually the definition of you saying fuck off to your family because you chose to drink. You chose the insanity. So my brother, today is a very, very simple message. Is it worth it? And if it is, what are you willing to do to be consistent to work for it? And if you're struggling to make that choice, as always, myself and my team is here to help. What it's going to take is another choice. I'm a comeback.com forward slash apply. I'm a comeback.com forward slash apply. All you have to do is type that in, copy, paste, do whatever you have to do, show up, fill out the application, and then we'll take the rest from there. If you're ready to do that today, I want to welcome you and I'll urge you to the next steps of your life. And if you're not, we'll be here tomorrow. This is your boy, Mark Jensen, saying goodbye until tomorrow. Have an amazing day. We'll talk to you soon.